Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick. I'm running for Texas State Legislature, HD18. I'm from Shepherd, Texas, pastor church in Cleveland, Texas. So why am I going to run? I'm running because we need a conservative Republican representing this district. And right now we don't have one. We have Ernest Bales, who campaigns as a conservative Republican. But in Austin, he votes with the Democrats. And we're in a very serious place as a nation, and now it's time for serious action. It's time for people with conviction, with real conservative convictions, to lead our county, our state, our district, and our country. What kind of experience do I have? I have 30 years of military experience. I've been deployed to Iraq twice. I spent three years on the border mission, which gave me a lot of knowledge, perspective about what needs to be done to secure our border and how to tackle the immigration issue. Bales is Open Borders Bales, and he's transformed our county into, or counties into a sanctuary district. And now uh, we have a lot of cartel activity in the safe haven he's created for the cartels to just do whatever they want, human, drug, sex, trafficking, child trafficking. It's going on here in our community. And actually, I think it's very important for us to take a, a stand against it and stop it. I have experience in city government. When I was in Iraq, uh, I was at Camp Cropper, and uh, we had a city council running this military installation as a city and I served on city council for a year over there while we were taking direct and indirect fire. So I have experience uh, with city governance in a war zone in Iraq, and I have my military experience. But you know, this isn't hard. It's not hard for someone that represents a red district, a Republican district, to go and vote with the conservative Republican Party instead of against it. Uh, to go there and try to undermine the conservative, the Republican agenda and enable and empower the Democrat agenda. That's what Ernest Bales does. That's what he's done. Uh, for instance, when he campaigned, it's very interesting. I was, I was kind of wondering, he, he puts these signs out that says conservative Republican. And uh, when he put his initial press release out for it, when he first campaigned, he, he clarified that he's not a social conservative. He's not a conservative in the traditional understanding. He's a fiscal conservative. Well, there's a lot of liberals out there who are, you know, woke, but they're fiscally conservative. It doesn't mean anything. Now, fiscal conservative is, is important, but conservative should enc encompass a lot more than that. So the other thing is, he says he's a Republican. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's not what his record shows in Austin. He's voting with the Democrats often. And uh, he, he made some very terrible votes this legislative session, which I'm going to talk about. He's on the Republican ticket. That's how he runs. But he, this man is actually a Democrat. And uh, let's look at what he's done this legislative uh, session. Ernest Bales wants to keep your kids, our students, trapped in failing schools. Up in Shepherd, where I live, only 25%, actually 27% of our, our students, our children, are able to do math at grade level. And uh, we need change, we need educational reform, we need to empower and enable these students to succeed. And one way to do that is school choice. Uh, to, to allow the parents to be able to, to send their, 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 their children to private schools, to a Christian school, just wherever they can to help them to achieve their maximum potential. But uh, Ernest Bales supports the left-wing teachers unions. That's his, the persons he answers to. And so he's totally against school choice. He'd rather see your children fail and, and it's trapped failing and failing schools than, than to give them opportunities to, to reach their fullest potential. And uh, this was, uh, I was there when Governor Abbott uh, was inaugurated and this was, you know, he was pushing this. Let's have school choice. This is my, my uh, priorities for this legislative session. So uh, Ernest Bells took a stand against the, the goals of our governor, Governor Abbott, and work to undermine them. Also, you know, we look around our, our, our nation, we're a nation in decline. I'm patriotic, I want to see a renewal of America. And, and how we renew America is through 
our, our founding documents, the principles found therein, conservative solutions, Republican solutions that, that empower and enable success for everybody and create opportunities for everybody, black, white, Hispanic, whatever race, color, nationality. Uh, I believe conservatives helps lift, conservatism helps lift everyone up. But Ernest Bells uh, joins with the left-wing teachers unions against the conservative agenda and actually harms our student and, and our students and condemns them to greater failure. And we have Ken Paxton. Ken Paxton. We look at the harm happening, coming to this country, from the, the Biden administration. And Ken Paxton's been a champion for the Republican Party, for conservatives, effectively opposing the harmful and destructive policies of the Biden administration. So what does Ernest Bales do to punish Ken Paxton, a fighter for our constitutional principles, for conservatism, for, for our nation, for our state, defending us from the disastrous onslaught of the Biden administration, fighting back against the Biden administration, achieving victories for Texas and our country. So what does Ernest Bales do? He votes to impeach him, takes him out of the fight for months, and now there's going to be a trial. This is absurd. This is ridiculous, but it's consistent with the behavior of Ernest Bales. As a pastor, I believe in the Bible. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the scriptures. I believe in life. I believe that God created man in his image and that every human life is sacred. Is sacred. And I'm a man of conviction and principles, or conservative principles, and a believer in the Bible. I'm pro-life. You know, Ernest Bales, when he uh, announced his intent to, to run for office. He campaigned. It's pro-life. Then he went to Austin, and his first term in office, he was a pro-abortion activist. You know what his, his, his position was? If life begins in conception, if we're creating the image of God, if life is sacred, abortion is always the wrong choice. He wants to have children with disabilities aborted. That's not the pro-life position. If your child may have Down syndrome, if your child has dwarfism, if your child may be blind or deaf, Ernest, Bort, Ernest Bales wants to abort those babies. That's his position. You know, I was doing some research on him. I was looking at his legislative accomplishments. And one of the, the great accomplishments, that you want to call it, of his term in office over there was advocating for abortion. He tried to cover up his pro-abortion record, but it's there to be seen. Shameful. I believe the man said what he's done is, is an embarrassment to our district. He needs to be removed from office. You know, some of these things he does, he's very effective at. He's been very effective at, at taking our district here, transforming it into a sanctuary district, creating here, just miles from where I'm living, and where I pastor, changing it into a safe haven for the Mexican drug cartels, where they're, they're, they have taken hold of this area. And now in our community, we see human drugs, sex trafficking, and a mass murderer, probably a member of the Mexican drug cartel. He could have, I mean, I, I was here at, at, at the church when he was going around killing people just a couple of miles down the road. These are the kinds of people that are being attracted to our community because Bales has made our district into a sanctuary district and a safe haven for the Mexican drug cartels, imperiling all of us. I believe he's responsible for those, those killings because of his support of what's been going on in our community with this uh, sanctuary zone and the human and drug and sex trafficking going on. We have to oppose it. We have to oppose it. And if I win, what am I going to do if I, if I win? and I become the legislature. I am going to be a consistent, reliable, conservative, Republican vote. You're not going to have to worry about me working for the other side the way Bales does. Whose side is he on? He's on the Democrat side. We need a true conservative representing our district and representing our community and its interests. And Bells is not representing us. And his policies are harmful and destructive. 
getting bells out of office and getting a convinced and committed conservative and a reliable Republican vote representing this district in Austin will be a major accomplishment. You cannot depend on Ernest Bell to support the Republican Party or to support conservatism. He doesn't do it. He hasn't done it term after term after term, and he's been a lackey of the Democrats. These policies are harmful to our community and harmful to Texas. We need solid conservative solution. And we need a man, of, a man of conviction and principle, a committed, convinced conservative fighting for Republican and conservative values and championing the pro-life cause in Austin. I will be that man. And there's been various efforts once we've, it's been revealed of who Bells is. There's been people trying to get him out of office. It's important for our community for us to do this. We've got to get Bells out. He needs to run on the Democrat ticket because that's apparently, I mean, Jesus says you shall know them by their fruits. And based on the fruits of his work in Austin, he's a Democrat. So that this man needs to, to run on the Democrat ticket. And uh, I want to represent this area and stand up for our Christian principles and conservative values and vote with our Republican Party to make Texas free, safe, and strong. Lastly, I want to mention that I support President Donald J. Trump. This is kind of very interesting. Last time I was campaigning, I went to this, uh, this big Trump rally in, in here in Conroe, up the road. I'm in Cleveland right now, but this is in Conroe. And I, I got pretty close up at the stage seeing the president. Where's Ernest Bales? Well, he was at some kind of left-wing Marxist teachers union convention because that's, that's what he believes in. He's a leftist. He's a progressive. And uh, he doesn't support President Trump. And I do. I support President Trump, and I take a stand against liberalism, wokeism, progressivism, because I believe that we need a rebirth of freedom. And this nation needs to return to God and have a, a period of spiritual renewal. The policies of the left are harmful and destructive. And they're trying to take our guns away from us. They're trying to take our freedom of speech away from us. They're trying to take our freedom of religion away from us. We see all this that happened under COVID. And we need to, to take our freedom back and stand up for our Constitution, our conservative values, and our conservative constitutional principles. Take a stand on that to make America and Texas great, strong, and free. So I want to be a champion of freedom because when it comes down to it, what is leftism? It's about totalitarian statism, government control, and it's about poisonous values of perversity and depravity. We need to have biblical Christian virtues and not the poison of wokeism, which is coming from the left and from far left liberal lobbyists and special interest groups like the teachers unions that Ernest Bales is a toady of. For the good of our state, we need to get Ernest Bales out. And we can do it. We need to work hard to save our community and our state. Ernest Bales has been a reliable supporter of the Democrat Party in Austin, and he's enabled them to get their agenda through often. They can rely on bails. We can't. So we need to get him out of office and get a conservative leader in there. Someone who loves his country, somebody who put his life on the line for country, his country as I have, serving in the military for 30 years, developing leadership skills along the way, which what kind of skills does Bales have? He's good at creating a sanctuary district. He's good at uh, allowing the Mexican drug cartel to come and set up a, a, a safe haven for them to do whatever they want. I mean, he's good at that. He's good at helping the Democrats gain power and retain power in Austin. But as far as pushing the, uh, the Republican agenda, Bales fails. We can remove him from office, but it's going to take dedication and hard work. We need to educate people 
about Ernest Bale's voting record and what he's done to hurt the conservative movement and republicanism and how he's actually hurting our community, hurting our parents, uh, and hurting our students. We need to get him out. So we need to educate people, we need to let people know to register to vote, to go out and vote. It's not about me. It's about what we represent as a Republican Party and our values that are under attack by Ernest Bales. He's so disingenuous. He goes around, puts these posters up, claiming falsely he's a conservative Republican, goes to Austin, votes with and supports the Democrat Party. We need change. We need change, and we need somebody who's going to stand up for conservative principles and vote with the Republican Party to represent our values in Austin instead of trying to undermine them the way Ernest Bales does. He needs to be held accountable. So please, vote for me, vote against Bales, vote for conservatism, vote for republicanism, vote for the pro-life cause. Vote for MISIC 2024. There's early voting. I encourage you to early vote. And also, if you're not registered to vote, get registered. I need over 10,000 votes. And I believe I'm going to get them, and we're going to win. And it's like I said, it's not about me. A win is it's not a win for Dr. MISIC or Stephen MISIC. It's a win for Texas. It's a win for Republican Party. It's a win for conservatism. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to achieve a conservative victory by getting Ernest Bales out of office and getting a reliable conservative vote in Austin to help make our state stronger. So I ask that you support me. Tell everybody you can because look at our nation. Look all around you. America's been the greatest nation that's ever existed in all of human history. A symbol of hope for the whole world. And now we're in decline. Marxism and leftism always brings decline. And we have to stand up. Stand up and defend our nation. Stand up and defend freedom. Stand up and, and defend constitutionalism and take a stand against someone who would like Ernest Bales who is against that. Don't believe his lies anymore. Look at his record. And it has much to be desired. So please stand with me and help us save Texas through getting a left-wing Democrat posing as Republican out of office and getting a solid, committed, true conservative in Austin. So thank you for your time and support, and uh, please take a look at this information. If you need more information from me, I have the contact information here. Just uh, And also, yeah, just reach out and contact me. Also, every Wednesday night at my church, King of Saints Tabernacle, we're going to be praying for our nation. So if you want to come and join us for prayer, uh, for, for just the, the various concerns that are, are afflicting our nation, but also praying for revival and spiritual renewal. So please come and join us. Thank you for your time and consideration. God bless you. And I pray that, that you would support me uh, as we take a stand and fight for conservatism, fight for Texas, and uh, take a stand against the left. So thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. And God bless the state of Texas.